flaming hot Cheetos. This is an American thing beyond belief. Crunchy. Guaranteed fresh until printed date. I don't know why I'm just reading random stuff on the front now. Oh, these are these are redder than the last chips. Look at this. Now these you can get in England. Not easily again. Like the Takis, I think, but they are nice. They've got such a unique crunch to them. Are they made from potato? Ooh, they're a little... Little... <laughs> little spicy. I can eat another one. But they are nice. I don't know what they're made of. Oh, that's what they're made of. I just bit myself. Ow. Okay. These are good though. These are really good. Hmm. These go above the Takis as well. The Takis are nice, but Cheetos are better. These are really good. Again, a little dip. A little dip in these would be... Mmm. Exquisite. I'm building a pile of mess on my desk. That and the airheads that are literally everywhere. <laughs> okay. Pringles, which is a brand you can get in the UK, but not ranch. What is ranch? Ranch dressing? Have I eaten ranch dressing before? I'm trying to think. Please, not everywhere. <laughs> not again. Okay. Ooh. They smell salty. Or vinegary. They got a little mangled in transport, but that's fine. Well, they're like sour cream and chive, right? Is that what ranch is? I see chives on here. They're nice, though. They are nice. Uh, such a messy way to eat. They're really good. They're actually really nice. The only problem with this video and this care package that I've been sent is I'm going to want some of this stuff more often. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading the side. Nothing half full about this can. It's nice. It's um, they're really good. They actually taste um, I don't know. I couldn't even describe the flavour of some of this stuff. I've probably done a horrible unboxing of this so far, <laughs> but they're really nice. To be fair, most of this should be quite nice, um, because it was chosen specifically to be a nice crate of food. Ooh, this is really American. Cheese it's. I don't think you can get Cheez-Its here at all. There are some of these things, as we've said, like, you can get some varieties and some maybe difficulties to get these. I don't think I've seen Cheez-Its anywhere. Cheez-Its are like, oh, wait, ranking these. These are going to be on the top of all of the crisps and um, crackers that I've eaten so far. This is the top. This is the one to beat. Cheez-Its might do it though. I love cheese. These are extra cheesy Cheez-Its as well. Extra cheese. That's a very weird cheese. But a cheese I could grow to really easily. That's so like, um. It's such an artificial taste, but also so cheddary. It's just really good. This is like, this is crack right here. Video title, British man goes insane eating cheese. <laughs> Those are just so good. 
I need to move on. Okay, wait, let's put these back. Get out of the the scene. Okay, that's really nice. Oh, I want more. But we've got other things. Now this is a really cool thing that started this whole conversation about sending things. It's Girl Scout. Oh my god, that's so loud for the mic. I'm sorry. It's Girl Scout cookies. You can't really see it there, but Girl Scouts. And that's such an American thing. We don't have anything in England where kids will just sell you biscuits on a, a random day. But these are the Lemon Ups. Crispy lemon flavoured cookies with inspiring messages to... There's messages on them? I'm in. I'll... That's very lemony. Oh, look at this. How cute. <laughs> I am strong. I can eat all of this food. That's so lemony. Hmm. It reminds me, the smell really reminds me of um, Mr. Kipling, like lemon cakes, like the tiny little lemon cakes that we can get here. Smells exactly like that, it's really nice. Um, it's not that sweet either. I can see a lot of sugar on the bottom. Let's do our calorie check. Where are we at? Uh, two, two cookies in a serving, and those two cookies have seven grams of sugar in. That's not bad. They taste really good. Oh. I don't know what biscuit I could describe it to, though. Maybe like a bit of a crumbly, a digestive? If this is ever an audition for me to be on like a TV program where I, I do like MasterChef, I would be the worst person. Mmm, <laughs> okay. Did we rate the Cheez-Its? Did we? They were so good. Cheez-Its is above Pringles. Cheez-Its is, is life now. <laughs> if over the next, uh, oh my god. <clears throat> If over the next couple videos you see a dramatic increase in my weight, you know why. Mm. So sweet. Mmm. Sick. Swedish fish. Sweet Swedish fish. Which goes really well with our, our golden fish. These ones I have seen seen in the UK, I think, but like only in like American sweet aisles and stuff. These are enlarged. They're big Swedish fish? How big we- they're big. I don't know what the regular size is, but that's a big fish. These Americans love eating fish shaped things. Bear in mind, it tastes very biscuity in my mouth right now. I can't chew this. Man, it's chewy. Oh, these are bad. <laughs> okay. So. Three. Oh, five. Oh, okay. Five pieces of fish. That's not as bad. I thought it was three. Five of these is 23 grams of sugar. Sorry, that's, that's five of these is fifty percent of my daily sugar intake. That's mad. They taste really nice though. They're nice. Um, they don't have a lot of flavour. What are they supposed to be flavoured like? Strawberry? They're so sticky. Um, it actually doesn't say even on the ingredients. It doesn't say a flavour. Just white mineral oil, natural and artificial flavor, red 40, and then carb, carnabuba, car, put the word up here, you read that out, wax. Hmm. That's, that's really sweet, um, really sticky. They're not flavorful though. Um, so... That being said, 
I think they're going under the cinnamon peeps, um, but above the peach rings because peach rings were not my fave. Not my fave. Now, this is a really interesting one, actually. Hershey's chocolate. I don't think I've ever had Hershey's chocolate at all, but I've never heard wonderful things. Because the one thing I know about chocolate in America is it has to be like, you have to use like long life milk and stuff, because your country's so big. <sighs> Not again. Not another package that's going to blow up. I don't want chocolate everywhere. At least the airheads are in wrappers. One second. Um, you have such a big country that ooh, almost stabbed myself. Uh, it's harder to, to ship everything around. So you have to have like long life milk. So apparently your chocolate doesn't taste as good as like Cadbury's, like our, our like generic chocolate. But let's snap off a little square. Oh, it's very, it's, is it dark chocolate? It's milk chocolate. It smells really strongly chocolatey to be fair. I mean, I can taste the difference. I can. It's a little, like, powdery and stuff. Or, not powdery. It does taste like I'm, I'm eating, like, chocolate milk powder sort of thing. Yeah, that's the best way I could describe it. If you ate powder from chocolate milk, this is what you're eating. But it's nice. It's not bad. Um, so per four pieces of this, 17 grams of sugar. That's nuts. I'm, I'm drooling though. <laughs> I'm an absolute animal. Oh my god. It's so sweet. But it's good. I don't know if that's just me because I've not eaten that much today either. If like my taste buds are just like, oh, sugar. We have approximately, not approximately, we have three things left in the box. We have. Sweet Arts or Sweet Tarts? I imagine both teas, right? Sweet Tarts. Ropes. Soft and chewy. I like a, I like a licorice rope and stuff. Um, and like a strawberry rope and like lace. So I reckon... I reckon these will be quite nice. Did we rate the Hershey's? We didn't. I'm getting lazy because I'm getting a bit sugar high. Hershey's. We'll go. Hershey's will go with the Reese's. Hershey's will go with Reese's. Uh, but below the Reese's, not above. Below. Below the Reese's. I think that's a reasonable place to put them. As I said, not the biggest chocolate person, but they were okay. They were nice. This is a thick boy. Is this cherry? It is cherry. Man, I didn't even see that on the packet. That so smells like cherry. <laughs> little, little mustache. Mmm, that's good. I really hit the nail on the head with the smell. I have the flavor, the flavor's good. Okay. Two ropes is a serving. I think these are our worst, uh, worst things so far. Uh, 18 grams. That means that's nine grams of sugar in this one rope. Oh, so much sugar. But it's real good. I don't think I can make it through this rope. <laughs> we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll push through. We've eaten everything at least a little bit. The sugar though, is really hitting my brain right now. Mmm. We've eaten so much stuff. I'm just looking at my desk. It's all in front of me. Okay, almost. We'll loop round to talk about some winners in a second. Unfortunately, the airheads, we can't really talk about that much because I don't think I have any left on my desk. Just all gone. Mm-hmm. 
So we have two things left in the box. Both of which are Pop Tarts. Which again, I went looking the other day for Pop Tarts. I couldn't find any in the supermarket. Hmm. Okay. We've, I've learned something interesting. Some people eat them straight from the foil. I normally eat them toasted. Some people eat them stacked. Sorry, is stacked and straight from the foil different? You're just putting them on top of each other. And frozen. There could be a whole episode for just these two. Right? Because that's four different ways to eat two different ones. Do I leave you on a cliffhanger? Do we have these in another episode? I'll show you the flavors. We've got Eggo, which is apparently a pancake. <laughs> okay, frosted maple flavor. And we've got frosted hot fudge sundae. I think we leave you on a cliffhanger here because my heart might explode, but we won't try these now, but we'll put together Maybe this one says you can't eat these in a different way. No, ready to eat. Heat, freeze, or stack. Fair enough. We're going to try these in another video, but all different ways. Because science, right? Oh my god, my heart. It's keeling in. But to go back to some, some true winners here. These are my favourite things probably out of out of the entire the entire pack. I might I might move the cheese it's up to second place though, you know. Mmm. We're doing it. <laughs> Change the ranking. <laughs> Nerds. Cheese it's whatever else. And <laughs> Pete drinks at the bottom. Mmm. <laughs> Cheeses are good. Nerds are just good. I don't think I can eat another one of these though, because it's so much sugar. I can only eat these because I know it's savory. Mmm. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining. What well, is basically a mukbang video, I feel, at this point. Because I'm just gluttonously eating in front of you. Um, we've tried... What? Like, 15 different things? From America? All very unique things. You're loving it. I hope you have a wonderful day. If any of this and my great advertisement for all this food inspires you to eat some stuff like this, go on a website. Find it yourself. Have a wonderful day. Where's the stop button? Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video, I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything. Go! Go wild!